Uh, today, we are going to make what I call last minute stew. Now, I know I have some other stew videos on my channel, but this one you can probably have done in less than an hour and dinner is done and they'll be just as happy as the one that took you hours. So let's get started. Okay, it's a pretty short list on ingredients. You're gonna, of course, need some beef. Um, stew meat will work. You know, you can cut up your own sirloin. Whatever you wanna do for meat, just bite-sized pieces. You're gonna need some flour to dredge it in, some salt, some pepper, and some bay leaves. And then you're just gonna need a few cans. You're gonna need some tomatoes, some veg oil, some corn, green beans, and just a little bit of beef um, bouillon. Pretty much that's it, guys. And it's real simple. Oh, and potatoes. I forgot the potatoes. There you go. Need some potatoes. Right, first thing we're going to do is take our meat and open this bag and salt in there. And then we're going to put some pepper in there. And that's all relative, as much as you think you want. We're going to close that bag up and we're going to massage it in to make sure it gets on everything. All right, now that we're done massaging, we're going to get our bag that we keep in the fridge with our flour for dredging. We're going to open that bag, all of our meat into the bag without making a mess. go just like that now we're gonna close that bag up taking some of the air out and then we're just gonna shake it shake it shake it and we're gonna cover up all that meat and get it a good coat on it okay we are gonna light this up and we're going to go for a medium high flame. Right about there. Okay, now we're going to slide that pan over here and we're going to let it get hot. And then we're going to add some oil. Okay, now I've got some previously used lard and I'm just going to use that. And that's like a big serving spoonful. Gonna put that in there and we're gonna let that get hot. Alright, now we're gonna check, make sure my grease is hot enough for this, so it's not. Let's turn that up just a little bit. Okay, we're sizzling now, so my pan's hot enough. Okay, and I have my little sieve here, and I'm just gonna sift off some of that flour just so I don't have a pile of it, and then I'm gonna start putting them in my pan, in a single layer. If it takes more than one time, then it just take more than one time. I've got it in there in one layer, and that's about all I could get in there. And now I'm going to let it brown, and then we're going to go in there, and we're going to flip them and get them brown on the other side. Okay, now we are not cooking them all the way through. We are just browning. So at this point, I've got a brown on both sides, and I'm going to pull them out. Okay, my second batch is done, and that's all I had. It's just like maybe two-thirds of a pound. Okay. That's it for that. All right, now we're just gonna add our cans. So let's do the two easiest ones first. They're pop top. So we got tomatoes. Okay, let's get that one in. All right, now we're gonna get the corn. All right, corn, juice and all. Now we're gonna open our can of veg all. Juice and all, we're gonna drop that in. Now we're going to open that can of green beans. And 
in it goes, juice and all. Okay, now we're going to give that a stir. Now you remember I had that little bit of lard in the bottom. Oh, I left it. We're going to need that. Okay, now I have these little bitty teeny potatoes. I, th I think they call them petite diced or uh, petite. I don't know. Whatever. I thought they were cute and I bought them, but now they're getting kind of old and I need to use them. So rather than cut up potatoes, since this is like last minute stew, we're just going to drop those clean potatoes right in that pot. We're going to give that a stir. And, act, and then we're going to come over here and get our bay leaf. These are little, so probably like three or four. We're going to give that a stir. Get those down in there. Now we're going to put some beef bouillon in there. We're going to put, uh, I don't know, a teaspoon and a half. That's what we'll do. About a teaspoon and a half. And then I'm not going to put salt because this stuff is really salty. And we'll check it at the end before we serve. And then we got that all stirred in. Now we're going to take our beef and we're going to put it in. And you'll want any of that accumulated juice in there. Take that too. That's all flavor. Okay. And we're going to just give it a stir. And we're going to leave it on that medium to medium high heat. And we're going to put a lid on it. And let it set till those potatoes are done. Because all the other veggies are done. They came out of a can. So all we're waiting for is meat and potato. And with our beef stew, we're going to have fritter beans. I know that sounds funny. They're not beans. They're little tiny deep fried. Kind of like croutons or kind of like maybe a hush puppy but you make them the size of a kidney bean and then you serve them over your soups or your stews. Okay, I'm looking down and I got, you know, I have glass lids, so I'm looking down in there and that's a little too high for me. I don't want it quite up like that. I just want it at a good, a good simmer. So I'm gonna move it to the back eye and put it on a slow simmer. If that's not quite high enough, I'll turn it up, but that looks about like what I need. Now I'm gonna put this over here. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is, I'm, that flame is pretty medium high, bordering closer to high. So I'm gonna go ahead and move my fresh lard, which it is lard. Now you can use oil of your choice, but for frying, I really, like lard and we're gonna get that good and hot and while that's getting hot let's put our fritters together and for our fritter beans all we need is some salt some milk some all-purpose flour and an egg that's all we're gonna need let's get to it okay now we're gonna lightly beat it doesn't have to be perfect, doesn't have to be fluffy, and I need three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. So, about like that. And then I need two tablespoons of milk. Now this is a half, a half a tablespoon. I can't find my tablespoon, so I need four of these. And four. There we go. We're going to give that a little stir. Now we need one half of a cup of flour. All purpose. Okay, now we're going to give that a stir. all 
incorporate it. Now at this point, you'd want to put it in a pastry bag, but I don't have one. We're gonna put that in there. And we're gonna squeeze it down. Into the bottom. Close as we can get. And we're gonna snip off the bottom. And then we're gonna drop little teeny, the size of a kidney bean. Well, there. Well, let's do it with a knife. That'd be easier. I don't know why I didn't think that. Start with. Y'all, that's kind of hot. My greases might be just a tad too hot, but I'm going to go with it because they're browning really nice. All right, we're going to get it in one because my pan's big enough, and we're just going to go with it. All right, now we're going to just keep rolling them and flipping them, getting them brown on both sides, and start pulling out the ones that are really brown. Brown on all sides. And I know as small as they are that they are completely done if they're brown on both sides in this hot grease. Yep. All right, now let's go in here. Check and see if our potatoes are done. And the way I do that is I just pierce it. If it busts like that, it's done. So, supper is ready. Yeah. We want to give a shout out to Sunny in Tyler, Texas. Population 106,000. So, Salute. yes. And y'all have a good night. Bye.